Welcome to 12 Days of Christmas Workout. My name is Danita with Booty Bands and Barbells, and today what you're gonna need for today's full body workout is a barbell, dumbbells, and your booty bands. Now obviously you can kind of exchange the weight, so if you only have dumbbells, you can absolutely still do this workout with this workout. So it'll be a lot of fun. Uh, it will be toning and sculpting our entire body, of course with 12 different exercises, calling it the 12 Days of Christmas. So let's go ahead and begin. Grab your booty band, whatever level that you prefer. I'm gonna start with my level one booty band just as a nice little warm up, and I'll go a little bit heavier as we progress into it. So let's get started. Placing your booty band right up onto your thighs. We're gonna go ahead and start with our burpee. So um, throughout, I'm gonna be jumping in the burpee, but just as a modification and a beginner, let's go ahead and just step down into our burpee. So just placing your hands down to the mat, stepping it back, stepping it up, and that's your burpee, okay? Next we're gonna go into is our rows. So it's going to be in a plank, and you're just gonna grab your lighter dumbbells, and you're gonna go into your back row. Now a common mistake I see here is that people just bring that dumbbell up to their shoulder. You wanna think you're working your back, so instead, drop the weight more closer to your hip and with your elbow pointing straight up into the back of the ceiling. All right, so here we go. You can start with the on your knees for a modification. Um, and you'll do two of that on each side. The next one we're gonna go into is jumps. So you're just going to either step or hop up to the front where your hands are. So again, I'm just starting everything off with a modification and throughout today's workout, you can choose any of these modifications. The next one is going into our squat. You always wanna make sure that instead of, people think that squat is just going straight down, instead it's actually going back and down. Um, with squats, we're gonna do a total of four. So you're just gonna hold the weight in between your legs, setting that booty back, trying to make it so that you're sitting back into an imaginary chair behind you. After four of those, we're gonna go into bicep curls for five. Beautiful work. Next, we're gonna go into shoulder press for six, bringing those dumbbells down to the shoulders and pressing straight up. Beautiful. Next, we're gonna go into a tricep extension, so bringing the weights up over your head. You can choose to do one or two uh, dumbbells here, your choice, and we're gonna do seven. Beautiful. Next one is lunges. You can actually, for a modification, not even use weight. You can just use your body weight for this if you prefer. And holding onto a back of a chair or something that has a sturdiness, so that way if you're losing your balance, you can hold on to it. A little bit more advanced, you'll use weight. And we'll step it back into that lunge so we have a 90 degree angle in the front, a 90 degree angle in the back. And we're gonna focus on that front glute by pressing into the heel and stepping up. We have a total of eight. Beautiful job, then we're gonna now switch to the other leg. Great, next one is gonna be a curtsy lunge. So it's the same thing as a lunge, but in this time you're just gonna step it across. So back and across, as still working that booty. Let's go for nine. And switch sides. Next is where we can add a heavier barbell for this. 
This is just our warm up. So you better be doing this with me right now. All right, if not, jump in right now. We got deadlifts. So that deadlift, you just take the booty back. The knees are slightly bent and the weights are really close to your legs. So I see a lot of mistakes out here. So bring that weight close. The shoulders are rolled back. Chest is lifted. We have a total of 10. Oh my goodness, we're almost done with our warm up. I'm impressed. Next one is going to be hip thrusts. Now, this is a great one. We can add some really nice heavy weight because this is going to go on your booty. So, place the weight onto your hips and you're just going to lift, press out gently against that band, in and down. We have a total of 11. And the last one for our warm up and the 12 days is bicycle. So you're just going to take your band and place it onto the soles of your feet as such. And then what you're going to do is you're just going to go into your regular bicep, your bicycle where you're crossing the opposite elbow to the opposite leg. And you're just pressing against that band, really opening it up as much as you can. Here we go. Four, five, you can see how I'm counting here. And one more because we love it. Whew. Okay, good job. So now your warm up is over. Now let's go ahead and now jump into the actual workout. So if you haven't jumped in with me now, this is the time to do it. Jump in with me, it's gonna be a lot of fun. We wanna start off with, of course, um, your own level. So if you can't lift weights yet because your form isn't correct, just use the booty bands and your own body weight for resistance and that will work just fine. And then as you progress, you're gonna to start to feel stronger and stronger and then be able to add more weight. All right, so here we go into our second round. I'm grabbing the level two band. All right, here we go. First one, burpee. Next one is rows. Well, I guess I have to do a full burpee. Hold on, okay. Now I'm going back into the row. One, two. Burpee. Okay, now row. Beautiful, next is jumps or step ups. Okay, we're on day three. You got this girls. Okay, now we're gonna start all over. Here we go. Burpee. And now we're gonna go into our row. Remember, two on each side, three jumps. Already feeling the burn. All right, since I wanna get a bigger burn, I'm gonna hold two dumbbells. Here we go, squats for four. Hey. 12 days of Christmas. We got this. Okay, starting from the top. One burpee. Two rows. Three jumps. Four squats. Now we can do bicep curls. Five bicep curls. How are you doing so far? All 
I'm already sweating. Next one, we're on day six. It's gonna add the shoulder press into it. So starting with day one, here we go, burpee. Row. Again, you can be on your knees for that if you can't do a plank. Three jumps. Bicep curls. Good work, now we can go into that press. Shoulder press. Keep that core nice and tight. Beautiful work. Now if you feel like at this point you're nice and warmed up and when you wanna increase your weight, Let's do it. All right, here we go. One burpee. Three jumps. Beautiful. Five bicep curls. All right, here we go. Six press. Oh my goodness. And of course we're on day seven, so let's hit it. Tricep extensions. We're on day eight, so we are more than halfway through. Stay with me. Here we go. Two rows. Three jumps. Squats. Shoulder press. Good. All right, now we get to conquer day eight. Here we go. Eight lunges. Again, you can hold on to a chair for balance. Switch legs.
day nine. Whew. All right, here we go, one burpee. Two rows. Three jumps. Four squats. Five bicep curls. All right, here we go. Shoulder press. Keep that core tight. There's a superwoman inside of every woman. Just give her some dumbbells. Uh, tricep extension. Here we go, seven. Love it, eight lunges. stay on this same leg and do the curtsy ones next so I can feel that burn a little bit more here we go nine and if you're doing it right you're gonna feel booty on that Dig with your heels. Here we go, other leg. Curtsy lunge. My goodness, it's getting harder. Okay, take that break. How are you guys doing over there? Ooh. Little breather. Take as long as you need. We got three left. Burpees. See me going down in weight? That's okay. Listen to your body, girl. Working out is supposed to love, not to hate. If you need to drop down, listen to your body. Seven. Eight lunges. You 
are fierce, you are strong, and you're now gonna do some curtsy lunges for nine. Make sure you're stepping far enough back so you can feel that booty. Holy cow. Take a break whenever you need to. Is anybody else shaking? My legs are on fuego. Deadlift, here we go, 10. I'm feeling pretty good. How are you feeling? Okay, now of course you can always use the modifications or drop down in weight. If you're looking for more advanced, you're just gonna keep picking up extra weights as we go along. Whew, we have two more and that's it. We can do this. Here we go. Burpee. I just said, if you're looking for a little bit more booty gains, you can higher your weight. And for extra credit, I'm gonna lower your reps on this next one. So instead of eight lunges, you can do four lunges. Instead of uh, nine curtsies, you can do five curtsies, okay? Here we go. Beautiful. Then let's go into those curtsy lunges. Beautiful. Other side.
five curtsies. <laughs> Now you say, Danita, well, what if I don't want to build a booty? Well, then what you would do is stay on lighter weight and keep your higher reps. Here we go into our 10 deadlifts. Beautiful, and then, because today's our 11th day, we're gonna go right into our hip thrust. Now if you need to, you can always like prop your barbell up on pillows or something. Or let's say like uh, yoga blocks. All right, here we go, 11 hip thrusts. Let your hips do all the work. My hands are just holding it onto my hips. Beautiful job. And can you believe we have only one left? All right, burpee. If you want to tone and slim, a little lighter weight, higher reps. If you want to enhance and grow, add more weight. And instead of eight lunges, I'm gonna do four. Beautiful. Curtsy lunges, I'm gonna do five. I'm just blending the two together. Last one, you guys, I'm so proud of you. Stay strong. Take as many breathers. As you can tell, I'm taking a breather. Beautiful job. Next one is our deadlift. Two more exercises. You are done with hip thrusts and abs. What a workout.
I'm so proud of you. And your grand finale is right here. Let's go into 12. Oh, 12. It's gonna feel so good. Here we go. job. Let's take this time and just stretch it out. So find yourself in child pose, opening your knees at distance of the mat, the big toes come together, and bring the chest to the mat. Slow down your breathing. Beautiful job. Take a nice good deep inhale, raising the arms up overhead, little back bend, and drop that opposite hand to the opposite leg and reach up. Good, and then just spiral the arm. And reverse. Good, and then place that hand down as you rock the hips back as you send that front leg straight. The toes go up towards the sky and you just breathe. Beautiful. Here you're going to just heel toe your foot all the way over across the mat as you drop down into your pigeon stretch. Straightening out the back of the leg, you can just rock the hips left to right. Feeling a nice good stretch through your hips and your glutes. Deep breath. If you're able to, if not you can stay. If you're able to, you'll just go ahead and hold the tops of your foot. You can even use a booty band to wrap around your foot and hold on to the band if you need a little bit more range of motion. And just breathe in this pose. Beautiful, send that foot down and back. And go ahead and go into a downward facing dog. As you're just gonna walk your feet out, just pressing the heels and then the toes into the mat. Breathing, pressing your chest towards your knees. Beautiful, and then you're gonna bring the left leg forward. Dropping that back foot, and you're gonna drop the hips towards the mat. Bring the arms up, a nice big deep breath, little back bend. Opposite hand goes down as the other one comes up towards the sky. Breathe. Be appreciative for how whole you are. Embrace what's going on in your life. Focus on feeling connected to the things that matter. Send the hips back as you lift the toes towards the sky and bringing that knee straight. Appreciating for your body and what it was able to do today. Whatever level that you're at, you find yourself embracing your current level, your body, how strong it is, how how it's able to get you through so many things on a daily basis. Breathing, filling your heart with gratitude. You send yourself in a vibration that is going to bring abundance. You fill yourself with abundance 
you will attract abundance in all the areas of your life. You become aligned with what you attract. Beautiful job. And I don't think we were able to spin this arm. So let's go ahead and go back into it and just spin that arm because I forgot that. None of us are perfect. job I'm so proud of you that was intense I'm literally dropping in sweat it feels amazing so hopefully you guys like today's workout the 12 days of Christmas hopefully it kicked your butt just as much as it did mine you can repeat this workout through this month as this is something that you can do all the time this is something that as long as your body isn't sore you can do this as a great foundation to have a full body routine and you can obviously make it your own feel free to add your weight add your reps maybe switch a, a, a different exercise, make it your own. That's what it's all about. So thanks for coming in. You guys are awesome. And I'll see you in the uh, other workouts. Bye everyone. Let me show you how to end the weight loss loop and really get lasting transformations. Did you know that when you're losing weight, you're actually losing three things, water, fat, and muscle. And losing your muscle, that's like losing your metabolism. Skipping meals and dieting can actually lower your resting metabolism up to 20% a day. The secret is lifting weights and maintaining your muscle will actually speed your metabolism up. The Booty Bands and Barbells program is designed to build lean muscle that will cut the fat and keep your curves. Put yourself first, act now, you feeling great and your new transformation can start today.